Nick is sent over and says, for some scoots. Do you have an inner voice? Okay. This episode is brought to We had this ar I, not argument, discussion with Nina and Nina said that the majority of people when they're thinking they have an inner voice that are reading their thoughts out loud or something. Is that Yeah. Like I'm talking to myself inside my head. She's talking to herself inside her head. And I say when I think when normally I don't have that. Only when I have a monologue with myself, when I'm thinking about decisions or something like, oh, uh, I wonder if this is, it's better to pick this one or this one. Then I, then I talk to myself. When I talk to myself on purpose, I have that, but I don't have that by default. Tell, uh, them, tell them what you see, how you see. I, yeah, I see... I see pictures and words like if someone asks me, oh, what did I do this morning? Uh, then I think and I, I see, oh, I see espresso house and I see the word espresso. I had an espresso this morning, right? And if I am asking myself, what do I feel like eating today? You know, if I'm thinking that, then I'm actually saying that sentence to myself. Or if I Welcome to you, if I go somewhere and I, I don't know if I basically want to talk to myself like, oh, this ain't so bad, right? Uh, then I'm saying it to myself, and then I then I'm talking to myself. But normal thoughts. I don't hear a, a voice, but I guess this video will explain everything. You by curiosity stream. All right, I need you to do a little experiment. So in your head, I want you to yell the sentence, I like crickets, just in your head. Please don't say it out loud. You want me to yell it? And now we're gonna do the same thing, but this time, instead of yelling, I want you to whisper, I like crickets, again, in your head. Now, consider this question. Was the actual volume of your inner voice different when you yelled versus when you whispered? It no. certainly might seem like it, but you can't but change the volume of the voice in your head. Just- What? Subtitles. No. Welcome to Uganda. What? You don't speak Arabic yet? <laughs> Yelled versus when you whispered. It certainly might seem like it, but you can't change the volume of the voice in your head. Just the tone and pitch. That's because you aren't actually hearing that voice at all. You're That's what I'm saying. You're not actually hearing the voice. Yeah, because it's not external sound. You are thinking your voice. You hear it on internal, not external. You can tell there's a difference, but it is your voice. Mm. I don't inner know. Voice can feel like how you define it. That's why I say that when we have this discussion, you may have a different definition than what I have, and everything, every, all of your uh, emotions and thoughts, they're all subjective. So we might be thinking the exact same way, but we have different definition of no, what is I what. I don't see sentences ever. Never, ever do I see words inside my head. I constantly talk to myself. It lives in a completely different part of your brain and it gets weirder. So when you're just going about your day thinking about things, do you think in words and complete sentences? I do, but a lot of people don't. Unless they're reading or writing, a lot of people report thinking in pictures, actions or images rather than words and sentences. And according to some scientists, there are three major types of thinkers. There are verbal thinkers, like me, who think in words or whole sentences. Yeah. Pattern thinkers think in patterns and connections, which may feel like thinking in actions and emotions. 
Then there are visual thinkers who think in pictures and images. Most people. I use pictures and words, though. So I guess I'm a hybrid. I'm like a, a feral druid or something. We'll probably do a little bit of all three, but it means that oh. not everyone has an inner monologue, which blew my mind a little bit. That term probably came from a visual thinker. Anyway, no matter how you think, a vast majority of people report thinking in whole sentences when reading or writing. One study looked at how similar reading dialogue is to hearing it. They had participants in an fMRI scanner read different sentences in their heads. Some sentences were things like, the man said, I like crickets, which includes dialogue. But other sentences were formatted like, the man said that he likes crickets, which means the same thing but does not include dialogue. The study found that when sentences contain dialogue, parts of the auditory cortex are activated. You're actually hearing what the characters have to say. Even when you're just replaying or imagining a conversation in your head, some parts of the auditory cortex activate. This is different from being a verbal thinker. An inner monologue does not activate the auditory cortex, but an inner dialogue does. And it turns out what your inner reading voice sounds like is not universal. Some people read in their heads all in one voice, their own. I must admit I fall in that category. But other people read in a different voice with an identifiable gender, pitch or tone that is different from their own voice. This other voice might be consistent when reading or it might change based yeah. on what you're reading. When I'm reading, I'm not reading in my own voice. Like when I'm think, like when I'm not reading out loud, of course. When I'm reading, I'm reading in like a. I'm reading actually in like a female voice, actually. I think. <laughs> Is that weird? Yeah. When I'm reading the back of this juice bottle. And and it basically says. <laughs> it basically says. Um. Uh, the, the, okay, these words are actually harder to translate than I thought, but... Um, okay, so... Nah, or, like, or whatever, right? So, our juice is the motherfucking greatest. Um, uh, it's neither pasteurized or uh, high pressure... Uh, high pressurized. Um, or in any kind or way... Uh, Okay, this is, these the words are very fucking annoying to read in general because I have to think of what for translating them. Okay, so basically they're like, oh, we have 100% natural ingredients or whatever, right? Um, and I'm reading it in a, in a, in an advertised kind of way. And I think I'm connecting it to like a, a radio voice of a, of, of a girl reading out like an ad on radio, right? Or, am I the only one who, who reads it like this? But if it... If, if I'm reading something else, if I'm reading like a, a university literature on, 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 on finance or something, I'm not reading it in a, in a female voice. I'm yeah, reading it. Okay. <laughs> I'm awesome reading it in like in, in the author's voice. So if that's a, if that's a man, you know, then that's a man. Uh, most of the time it was men writing those books. Uh, <laughs> but when I'm reading this juice bottle and and I'm reading this like ah uh, our juice is 100% natural and it's um, um, it's it's just 100% raw juice mm, nothing else blah 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 then I'm just reading it in an ad voice and that's you sh that's that's a girl for me for some reason the 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 kind of voice you would hear on radio kind of. Some people even read in multiple voices and others don't hear a voice at all. So Why is it that I always pause right before she... <laughs> Without being able to see or hear what's going on in someone else's mind, Fuck. we tend to assume that our experiences are universal. And because of this, a lot of the research wasn't done until recently. We're just starting to learn more about how the variation in our minds work and how we all experience the world a little bit differently. And that's something to think very loudly about. To think very loudly about. <laughs> okay, that's the end. <laughs>
You should know by now that I, I love know. watching Why? documentaries. And at the moment, I'm watching The Origami Code on Curiosity. What? To think very loudly about. <laughs> okay, but we're just starting to learn more about how the variation in our minds work and how we all experience the world a little bit differently. And that's something to think very loudly about. To think very loudly about. I don't get it. What's the joke? What What's the joke? She didn't edit it. Oh. She forgot to edit. <laughs> yeah, you should fun. know by now that I love watching documentaries. And at the moment, I'm watching The Origami Code on Curiosity Stream. It is very satisfying if you enjoy seeing very large objects like spacecraft folded up into very tiny spaces. I want to thank Curiosity Stream for sponsoring this episode of Braincraft. It's a subscription streaming service that has a whole range of nonfiction titles, including. All right. Well, there we go. In what language do you think? Welcome to Uganda. I think in whatever language I'm about to speak. If you ask me a question, what did you do this morning? Then I think in in English words. If you talk Swedish to me, then I then I think in Swedish words. Unless there's a word I'm trying to translate and then Welcome I think I see the word in English and I'm trying to translate it to Swedish. Right? That, that I think so. I think so. <laughs> Very funny. Thank you. Fjordvoi Markas, two years.